we continue uh, studying the classification of minerals and today we will be talking about new classes of minerals our first one we will talk about carbonates and nitrates actually in our uh, studying uh, of mineral classification we will not have time to study all classes so we will focus on a specific ones so that you can study them before exams uh, carbonates and nitrates are very separate uh, classes of minerals and carbonate ion can bond with a variety of other ions to produce carbonate minerals and we will see uh, some of those famous minerals uh, the bonding with calcium to form the mineral calcite which is really f the most famous uh, mineral in carbonate class produce one of the most abundant of the non-silicate minerals and as all of us know that you know carbonates they dissolve easily in acidic water and carbonates also classified into two major classes anhydrous carbonates and hydrous carbonates the anhydrous carbonates include two groups also we call them calcite group and aragonite group and to talk about calcite group they also include very important minerals such as calcite which consists of calcium carbonate and we have known the calcite before when we have studied the physical properties of the minerals uh, with its featured uh, cleavage and here you go you can see the calcium uh, the calcite mineral and the second one is dolomite which is calcium magnesium carbonate and this is the photo of dolomite uh, by the way dolomite we have this name for both mineral and uh, rock and we have mentioned that before we said dolomite rock we some some scientists call it dolstone the second the next uh, mineral is called anchorite which is calcium magnesium iron carbonate so you can see we start only by calcium carbonate then we have calcium with magnesium then we have calcium magnesium and iron and this is a picture of anchorite the white uh, crystals and the magnesite which is just a, from its name it's a magnesium carbonate pure magnesium carbonate so magnesite is magnesium carbonate and calcite is calcium carbonate but the other two we have mix of calcium magnesium or calcium magnesium and iron and magnesite here is a picture of magnesite and you can look for the chemical composition of each one of those just to know okay we still with the calcite group we have cedrite which is iron carbonate and here's a picture of the cedrite and rhodochrosite which is manganese carbonate very beautiful uh, color of mineral here and spherocobaltite uh, which is coming from cobalt so it's a cobalt carbonate and this is a picture of it and esmesonite which is a zinc carbonate so you can tell uh, I would can you give an example you can give me an example of each one of the carbonate like iron carbonate if we ask you about mag manganese carbonate so you just give me an example of the this mineral uh, calcium carbonate iron ma uh, carbonate and so on aragonite group also include the following minerals aragonite itself which is a calcium uh, carbonate also here and bromelite 
which is calcium barium carbonate and strontiumite which is the strontium carbonate and finally cerocyte which is the lead carbonate okay so then we will go to the hydrous carbonate and see uh, very famous minerals uh, malachite and azurite as you can see from the picture just example to know and uh, then the next class is sulfates and sulfate are important minerals include some very interesting minerals also uh, such as barite gypsum <clears throat> and others as you can see two examples of those barite and gypsum and now we come to the most famous class of minerals which is silicates and silicates this class include vast number of minerals they are the largest uh, group of mineral and the most complicated class of minerals too and they represent approximately around 30 percent of all minerals present on the earth uh, on this earth's crust and some people some geologists also they estimate about 90 percent of the earth's crust is made of mainly silicates okay so why they are abundant why they are famous why they are many the abundance of silicate is because the oxygen and silicon as we have studied before these two elements are the two most abundant elements in the earth's crust so it's normal to say that we the, the silicates are the most famous minerals or the abundant minerals in the earth's crust and the basic of course the chemical uh, the basic chemical unit of silicates is SiO4 major group of minerals of silicates are olivine group garnet group zircon group and alumino silicate group they contain aluminum with silicates and humite group and titanite group and chloritoid group of minerals and of course each one of these groups they have other elements or varieties of it so you can read about that please read about those i will just include some pictures of all these uh, minerals here just to give you an idea about these uh, minerals or silicate minerals you can see here very beautiful colors of olivine the green one then you have the zircon and titanite and garnet and very well crystallized uh, uh, minerals and this is i think is enough for us to study about the classification of uh, minerals in our next lecture inshallah we will review uh, minerals and uh, and crystals uh, and please if you have any questions uh, contact me and i will be in help thank you and have a wonderful day bye